In the past I've made a few videos on Tesla, and we talked about some of the crappy things they have done. And in that video we touched base on their autopilot system. Now in that video I shared the results of a report done by the NHTSA, which showed that Tesla's self-driving system has been involved in more accidents than any other manufacturer's system of the same sort. Well once again Tesla's autopilot is in the spotlight, and this time for something that is really scary to me. So I ride motorcycle, and I have done so for a few years. I love the feeling and the freedom that it brings. Now on a bike you have to be super aware, people don't see you, and you have to think for yourself and everyone around you. Well apparently, now you have to think for yourself, all the other drivers and computers too. So the Associated Press reported that the federal government is investigating whether or not the company's autopilot system can safely recognize motorcyclists after a pair of fatal crashes in July. Now before I have Tesla fanboys commenting that it was probably the bike's fault, um, here's what happened. The first fatal crash occurred in the early hours of July 7th in Riverside, California, when a Tesla Model Y on the State Route 91 hit a motorcycle from behind, killing its rider. The second fatal motorcycle crash occurred on July 24, again at night, this time on the I-15 outside Rapper, Utah. In this case, a Tesla Model 3 was driving behind a motorcycle and hit it, again killing the rider. Both riders were hit from behind, under normal riding circumstances. Now with the first incident, it's still unclear where the autopilot was active at the time of the crash, but the California Highway Patrol is investigating. Now with the second crash, the driver in Utah admitted that he was using the driver assist at the time of the incident. Now even if only one of the two crashes happened while autopilot was active, it's still one too many. That means that the computer does make mistakes. If it can make one mistake, it can make another. Anyways, investigators from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration traveled to both crash sites. Now according to the NHTSA, they suspect that the Tesla's partially automated driver assist system was active in both cases. And this is not the only thing the NHTSA is looking into. The NHTSA's Office of Defects Investigation is looking into autopilot following at least 11 crashes where Tesla cars operating under autopilot hit emergency vehicles after failing to recognize them. A second NHTSA investigation is also underway looking into the phantom braking problem that has resulted in hundreds of complaints. So here is the question, why did the people not just brake? I mean even if you are in autopilot, you should still be aware of your surroundings, like in all other self-driving systems, right? Well not according to Tesla's own marketing. Here's a statement from Tesla's autopilot webpage, claiming that with full self-driving, all you need to do is get in and tell the car where you want to go. If you don't say anything, your car will look at your calendar and take you there as the assumed destination. Your Tesla will figure out the optimal route, navigating urban streets, complex intersections and freeways. Now in actuality, there is no car on the road currently that can really drive itself without supervision from the driver. So insinuating that the car can drive itself is dangerous. And it's not just me that sees a problem with Tesla statements. California's Department of Motor Vehicles filed a pair of complaints with the state's Office of Administrative Hearings. The complaints say that Tesla's statements describing autopilot and the more controversial full self-driving feature have been untrue or misleading and not based on facts. So why is all of this happening? Well, beginning in 2021, the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y don't have forward-facing radar anymore, so the cars rely on cameras only when driving, and both incidents involved cars without said radar. So why did Tesla take it out in 2021? Well, I don't know about you, but I can guess. What drives all businesses? It starts with a name. At the end of it, it's really sad. I feel for the families of the riders, and they have my condolences. Now, I hope that something comes of this. I hope that Tesla is more careful with the statements they make, and I hope that everybody just gets more aware. I mean, when you drive a car that is self-driving, in quotations, you still have to be aware, no matter what car it is, no matter how good the system is, we aren't at a place where the cars can completely drive themselves. So for the safety of everybody else around you on the road, just be aware. Yeah, 
Anyways, if you guys found this video informative, leave a like and subscribe. Um, if you like anything car related, go through my channel. I've got many more car related videos. Um, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh? Thank you.